two, three, fuck it. Okay, hey you guys, welcome to welcome back to my channel and I hope you guys are having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the forces on an inclined plane. And basically this video is going to be a really short video because I'm just going to be labeling the forces and kind of um, connecting the dots and just putting, um, and just going to explain a little bit on the forces and label them on an inclined plane. And that's the whole video. And so let's just get started. Okay, so before we start labeling the forces, I want us to, um, um, before we label them on the inclined plane, I want us to write out the forces and just kind of like, you know, yeah. So the first force that we have is the normal force. Actually, I'm going to need, I'm going to write everything down and then go through it one by one. So let's do that. All right, so now that I have everything written down, we can just basically talk about it and then we're going to move on into drawing them and labeling them. Okay, so we have the normal force and we have talked about the normal force before in the previous unit. And so basically normal force is the weight of the object and it's the, and it's the weight that is um, opposing the gravitational force. So it is pulling upwards and opposite of the gravitational force, which is pulling, which is pulling downwards and in the opposite direction of the normal force. So there's really much to talk about other than for now that we are moving into inclined planes, the normal force is going to be, instead of it standing straight up like it used to, so like when it was just sitting on the table, it would be standing straight up and this would be gravity. Okay, so in this case, the normal force is going to be always perpendicular to the surface. So if the thing is now this way, and this is your object, your normal force is going to be going this way. So whatever direction your object is in, that's the way that your normal force is going to move towards. But now in this case, for your gravitational force is going to remain the same always, and it's always going to be pointing downwards. So if your object is this way, your gravitational force is going to be going downwards, which is how gravity acts. And so the only difference is that now for your gravitational, actually it's not a difference, it's still the same because it's still going to be pointing downward. So it doesn't matter which way the object is or like how inclined your plane is, that didn't make any sense, but your gravitational force is still going to be pointing downwards always. So there's that. So normal force points perpendicular to the surface and your gravitational force points downwards always doesn't matter if it's slanted or straight is downwards and then your frictional force is the force of friction and it is trying to oppose the movement of the object okay so i believe um friction force would usually i think this would be your applied force and then this would be your friction force i don't or maybe it's swapped i don't know but if it were to be on an inclined surface like this and it's sliding downwards, your friction force would be going this way. So it's basically going to be going in the opposite, opposite direction of your applied force, which now your applied force is going to be your parallel component, which is this one. And so your friction force on an inclined plane is going to be um, this way. So if your object is sliding downwards this way, obviously friction is going to be trying to push it in the opposite direction. And now we have two new forces that were introduced in this um, little unit, I guess. So we have the parallel force and perpendicular force, and that's FWX and FWY. And basically these are components of weight. And so your parallel force is basically now your net force and it's your acceleration. And so when there are balanced forces acting on your object, your your object is going to accelerate down the inclined the inclined plane. Okay, so let's draw the box. So here is your box going down an inclined plane. Okay, and so this is the center of your box. And then we have your parallel force. And your parallel force again is your acceleration. So it's going to be going this way. 
So this is the force that is pushing it downwards because your parallel force is again your net force and the reason why your object is going to accelerate. And then the other force is the perpendicular force, which is now equal and opposite to your normal force. And we just said that the normal force is going to be going perpendicular to the surface that your object is on. So that's your normal force. Okay, so this is our normal force, and then this is your parallel force, which is causing the acceleration. And so since um, the perpendicular force is equal and opposite, so normal force is going to go also perpendicular to the surface, but in the opposite direction. So that is your normal force, and then this from the center is your perpendicular force. I'm just going to put perp in parallel. And then don't forget that um, gravity goes straight down. So that's your force of gravity. Okay, and now we are, and then you can say that this is friction. I'm not really too sure on friction because we barely talked about it because I believe that um, most of them are gonna be frictionless, I think. I think maybe, yeah, so maybe, yeah. So we, she didn't, my teacher didn't really touch on the topic of friction for this topic but i believe it will be going in the opposite direction because friction opposes movement and all that stuff so basically um then we had um data data t-h-e-t-a and we touched on that because we have to use cosine and sine to calculate um angles and stuff like that and i'm not going to touch on that in this video because that's another video but for the purpose of labeling and stuff, we had that. So your your um first one is going to go over there, and your second one is going to go over here. Okay, so this is your data of the triangle. I don't know what they're called, honestly. To be frank with you, I don't know. I think this is your data. Your I keep saying data. I don't. <laughs> this is your theta of the inclined plane and this is your other this is the, the degree so if we were to make this inclined plane into like a triangle okay so now we're going to draw another line so this is basically the parallel force because you see it should be equal to that but it's not but it's your parallel force so this makes a triangle and then this is your theta and this and this are always going to be equal to each other and just some um other information that you guys probably want to know so as your theta goes up your normal force is going to go down and since your normal force and perpendicular force are opposite and equal that is also going to go down because you're basically the same thing, but they're opposite and equal. And then your parallel force, on the other hand, is going to go up. Okay, because the um, as the angle goes up, I think it's going to make it more like slanted. So it's going to make it easier for it to accelerate downwards. So that would also go up. So it makes sense. And then the, okay, yeah, the angle of the force triangle is always going to be equal to this of the inclined plane. Think of that as the inclined plane. <laughs> but yeah, they're always going to be equal to each other. And let me see if there's any more information that you guys should know. Okay, um, yeah, as the angle goes up, the parallel force goes up. Um, the parallel force is the one, the parallel component is the one that causes acceleration, and the parallel component is the net force when there is no friction involved. And when your FWX, so your parallel force, when it exceeds the static friction, the sitting object will move. So basically, if you have more um, parallel force, more than static friction, which is the friction that makes an object stay at rest, your object will move, and that makes sense because. If you have more applied force than friction, it would move. But it's not really applied force, but you get the point. And I think that is all. Okay, so these are the notes that I took. Um
found in school. So basically this is the inclined plane and this is the object and the normal force is perpendicular. The force of gravity is going straight down towards the center of earth. And again with the force of gravity and then num number one is the perpendicular, number two is the parallel and you see how this is going straight down, this is going this way and then this is going this way in the perpendicular direction so opposite and then if i want to put the normal force i would just draw that straight up perpendicular to the surface and then these are just some examples of um how the normal force is always perpendicular to the surface so this is straight so straight up this is this way that way and that way and then and then this is just a mess so basically i have the um data data and it's always going to be here and in the middle of the triangle this is my box this is the parallel force going this way this is just a y and x to like symbolize um direction and stuff so this is parallel force parallel force this is my for this is my perpendicular force going this way opposite equal to normal force and then this is my force of gravity and that's it okay so here's a way better picture of um the diagram than what i could draw so again, your force of weight is your force of gravity and it's going to go straight down towards the center of Earth. And then your perpendicular force, which is your FWY, is going to go um, perpendicular to the surface. And then it's also equal and opposite to the normal force. So that is going to go upwards and it's going to go downwards and they're both perpendicular to the surface. And then the parallel force is going to go in the same direction as your object this is the race downwards because it is also your net force when there is no friction and it is also what determines your acceleration and then your force of friction is trying to oppose that movement and it's going to go in the opposite direction of your parallel force and that's it oh also your date your your theta and stuff this is going to go in the middle of the triangle and this is going to go in this little section of the inclined plane and that is good to know because they can ask you questions on it and that's it for real this time that's the end of the video i really hope you guys found this video helpful and i hope to see you guys in the next one bye guys